Anxiety, a mental disorder with an extreme feeling of worry, nervousness, or unease, usually about something uncontrollable or with an uncertain outcome, either in the present or future. But how does it work? How does it feel? Let's take a look inside the brain to find out. Anxiety affects the amygdala and the hippocampus parts of the brain. The amygdala deals with emotional memories and the anxiety turns them into fears. The hippocampus is affected by turning threatening events into memories. Anxiety also lowers the serotonin inside your brain. There are two parts to anxiety, mental and physical. Some people have one or the other, and some have both. Mental includes verbal worries, nervous thoughts. Physical includes racing heartbeat, panic attacks, lightheadedness. Anxiety feels different to each person. It can feel like you're sinking into the fear. It can feel like you're empty and alone. It can feel like you're completely panicking, or you can feel a sense of sadness and anger. Sometimes, different people can feel multiple of these. The look of anxiety can be different for everyone. Some people start completely panicking. Some just feel and look sad and depressed. Some can be fidgety and shaking, or sometimes you can't even tell because the person tries to hide it. There are people, though, that can have a mixture there is a possibility of some side effects of anxiety, one being derealization or depersonalization, where you feel constantly spaced out and sometimes it feels like you're looking through a glass. Derealization feels like nothing is really real and depersonalization feels like you're not there and not in the moment. There are many reasons that could cause anxiety, like a sudden move, a divorce, bullying, depression, and any other traumatic incident. So there are some ways you can get help. You can call a helpline, see a therapist, talk to anyone you trust, do self-care, use coping skills, and even take medication for it. There's lots of ways to cope and help yourself get through it. It's important to always practice these things to get better. So many people experience anxiety and feel alone, but you're not alone. We can get through it one way or another. It is possible to deal with this mental illness. No one deserves to suffer alone. Nothing is impossible. No matter what, we can learn to live with anxiety.